And here's the result, guys. Oh my god. This thing is insane. I totally expected it to fail miserably. I, I didn't even check that the overhangs were even possible. I didn't check the supports to make sure they were going to work very well. And I just let it rip on the Chidi Tech X1 and it actually worked. I mean, there's areas where it's barely made it across because the overhangs are literally like a few degrees. So it's even worse than bridging, but it actually succeeded. And the little benchy inside was literally riding on rough seas. Like as it was printing, like the, the supports were bouncing around. I figured out later on why it was like that. It's not so much the supports were bad. It's because that when I made uh, them in the print studio out of Autodesk's new software that is now a separate bit of software rather than using Mesh Mixer to do it, the supports were separate shells. So Simplify 3D tried to separate them. So it was literally just floating on these bits of plastic, which magically somehow materialized again just before the base of the boat. So this is a bit of a joke. I mean, look, the 3D Benchy inside this lattice is actually really good. It's a really good print, but that's not the point. I wanted to just take a torture test and really torture it and end up with this ridiculous result. So it's trapped inside there. There's, there's no way it's ever coming out. And I'm gonna show this to people and be like, yeah, figure out how that happened. So thanks for watching guys. Hope you enjoyed this ridiculous video here on Maker's Muse. I'm having a lot of fun like moving on to the next level of 3D printing, which is sort of like, not so much, should I do it? It's more like, can I do it? And just seeing what happens. I'm not afraid of failure. I like to try things and like to push things to the limit. And you're gonna see that more and more on the channel. So if you enjoyed this video guys, hit that subscribe button. Helps me out a huge amount. And I look forward to seeing you again very shortly here on Maker's Muse. Catch you later, bye.